Okay, we've got to express z is equal to minus root 2 plus i in what's known as the modulus argument form. So that's r cos theta plus i sine theta. So first of all, with this type of question, it's always advisable to draw an argand diagram. So the real z, imaginary z, we want minus root 3, so it's minus root 3, and then plus 1i. So it's going to be about there, so we draw a dot, we'll align with it, and label the complex number minus root 3 plus i. We need to find r, which is the length of that line there, so we use Pythagoras for that. So r is the modulus of z. So it's going to be the square root of minus 3 squared plus 1 squared. Now, if you square root something that's square, you get back to what you started with. So it's 3 plus 1, which gives me root 4, which is 2. So the length of that line is 2. Right, to find the angle, you take the... Because this is in the second quadrant, you needed to make this angle hint here called alpha. And then forget that this is negative and just do tan to the minus 1 of 1 divided by root 3. 1 divided by root 3. Do tan to the minus 1 of that. And you should know that is pi by 6. So if that angle there is pi by 6, then theta is in the second quadrant. Therefore, we need to do pi minus pi by 6, which is 5 pi by 6, because the argument is actually this angle here. Remember, the argument is defined from 0 to pi, and then from 0 to minus pi. So that gives 5 pi by 6. So z is equal to a, b, a plus bi in moderate argument form is r cos theta plus i sine theta. where theta is between minus pi and uh, pi. We've got the value of r, we've got the value of the argument theta, so we can go straight away, z root 3 plus i will be equal to 2 cos of 5 pi by 6 plus i sine 5 pi by 6. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to write a complex number in the form a plus bi in what's known as the modulus argument form. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.